Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Star Wars 6-inch Black Series 4K action figure review on the Disney Plus The Mandalorian series The Child, aka Baby Yoda. Trying to get your Star Wars 6-inch Black Series figures? You can do so at Megalopolis City of Collectibles, where they have all kinds of figures over there. They have the Star Wars, they got the Transformers, they got the Marvel Legends. Check them out, they have an awesome rewards points program. Link in the description below. And this figure I have been wanting for quite some time. As most, I really enjoyed the Mandalorian TV series and I really liked Baby Yoda. So here, let's get a closer look at the packaging over here with the child. And I have one in box and one out of box just in case I lose anything or want to have the, my kids play with one. Uh, so I got an extra one. You can see it says the child right over there on the side. The one in the back has all kinds of warning stuff. And yeah, so not a whole lot more to the packaging right over here. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here is the little child figure. Wow, this thing is very, very tiny. And it does come with very tiny accessories as well. So let's get a closer look at those. I'm going to go ahead and move the camera down right over here. Now, one thing that it comes with that I'm very, very grateful for is this little hard plastic case where you can keep the accessories for Baby Yoda. I think that is just great. So very happy to have this because when you're done with your accessories, you do want to put them away. Uh, first off, you get, and I just put the little knob to, I think this is like the thruster or the gear changer of uh, the Mandalorian's ship, but it's just this tiny little knob right over here. It's just a, you know, just a gear knob, and remember he ripped it off and everything. I thought that was kind of a funny part, and it has a flat bottom piece to it, so you can let it sit on the ground. You can see the flat bottom piece. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm thinking. But yeah, you can see how... That would actually go on, uh, you know, the gear stick. So that's neat. <laughs> Such a tiny accessory. I mean, I remember the scene and everything uh, from the show. So it's memorable, but kind of interesting that Hasbro went with that. Um, and then you get the little teacup right here. Very tricky to get in focus. And hope my uh, fingernails are all coming out nice and crispy in 4K. But for real. It's not looking too bad, and I did clean my nails, so hopefully you guys appreciate it, but yeah, that doesn't look too bad at all. It would be nice if they kind of like filled in a little piece of plastic in there so to make it look like he was drinking something, but you know, good enough. I don't know, I'm not, not that upset over it, just a little detail, but here's looking at the frog that it comes with, which is my favorite accessory out of the three, and I love that we're getting this nice darker green paint right here along the back. That looks really good. You can see the little froggy legs. And, you know, it's pliable enough. This is his lunch. So I love that the figure comes with nourishment. That's great. So nice paint apps on this tiny, tiny little thing. I mean, look how small it is compared to my thumbnail right here, you know? Now I don't have tiny hands or anything. You know, I don't have, you know, huge hands either. I have pretty average size hands. But... Yeah, that's really, really small accessory, man. And uh, let's take a look at this. <laughs> I just crack up every time I say six-inch scale Black Series figure when I'm talking about this thing because it is just so ridiculously small. I mean, look at this thing, dude. And I'm trying to get a really nice tight shot right over here so you can see everything nice and crisp and clean. A little tricky to do, but as I darken the settings i guess that's looking a little better i am very impressed by the amount of paint on this thing and how clean everything came out i mean look at that dude the eyes just look perfect and then the shade of brown around the eyes and on the cheeks that looks really good it's like a pinkish brown excuse me it's like a pinkish brown color right there same thing with the inner ear or inside of the ears that is great i love that that is just really good and then on the top of the head, they added just a little bit of white right there to the little hairs. That is very impressive. I'm not used to seeing that level of detail on something so small. That is just really cool looking. And the sculpt looks really good, right? Digging it, man. And just to compare, I, one cool thing about having a second one in package right here is that I can, you know, look at the face paint on this one. And it was really hard for me to pick the one that had the better paint apps. They both came out looking really good. So for such a tiny, tiny figure, I think the execution of the paint on this thing is fantastic. I really like it. And I like how this whole, you know, the whole robe looks and everything. It looks pretty nice. I like the wrinkles in it. I guess they could have added some dirty paint to it and stuff. You get some texturing right here, as you can see. It's tattered at the bottom right there. I like how the hood and the whole collar thing flops right down. 
And then you can do the little baby Yoda pata, so you get some serial number stuff right there. No peg holes or anything underneath the feet, you know, I'm not surprised about that, but yeah, cute, awesome little figure. All right, so let's get into the articulation, because you do get a decent amount of articulation with this. Uh, you can turn the head side to side, and you do get a little bit of head pivoting right here. I'm going to turn the lighting up a little bit so you can see the head pivoting going on like that, side to side. Uh, it's on a ball joint, man. Like, everything is on a ball joint. So if you want him looking up, you kind of have to half it out of there, and you'll look up that much, and you can make him look down just that much. So decent articulation. You get, ro oh, I was going to say you get rotation on the arms, but it just popped out on me. So you can rotate a full three. Okay, let's rotate a full 360 without it popping off. There you go. Okay. And then it could move in and out. Again, it's on a ball joint. So the the arms, oh gosh, that pops off way easier than I, I would like. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of room for error when you're moving those around. So I can't get them to move inward. I was going to try to have them hold one of the accessories, but nope, it's not working. Or is it a her? I don't know. They call it Baby Yoda, so I don't know. But anyway, you get a wrist that turns side to side, so that's cool. And it will move up and down, so again ball joint for that moves every direction and then the little patitas right over here they move any direction too you can move them downward you can see that i'm trying to move them down right and you can move them up a little bit and they'll rotate around again ball joints so they have that range of motion right there as much as you can get from having this here like that so i think that's kind of neat i like this little guy i mean it's a half priced figure Jeez, uh, we'll talk about the pricing and the rating later on. But anyway, let's go ahead and set it down and then get a measurement and some comparisons. And then I'll move on to the next review because I have so many figures that I want to review. And um, yeah, I may have a third video today. We shall see. Maybe I won't. I don't know. But anyway, measuring this out, uh, you can see that it is standing under the inch and a half mark. So very, very small figure. There goes a little knob right there. Uh, I wanted to compare it to some other tiny figures. So we have some Porgs. See, with the Porgs, you got two of these. So, I don't know. That's, eh, that's that'll work, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's in scale right over there. And then, here it is next to the Yoda, who my daughter mistakenly calls Baby Yoda. Finally, I got her to just call her, <laughs> got her to just call him Yoda instead of Baby Yoda, but she's like, oh, Baby Yoda! And I'm like, no, 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 that's just Yoda. Oh, sorry, Dada. It's Yoda. That's how she'll do that. So anyway, that's my daughter learning Star Wars. And yeah, you can see the similarities. They have the same number of toes and everything too. So cool. And uh, let's get a comparison with the Marvel Legends Big Time Badass Spider-Man. I mean, look how tiny that is. Wow. And I should have saved that comparison for last because I actually do have Mandalorian bump bump right here, which I wanted to show off next to it. And by the way, I do have a custom cape for the Mandalorian, which I'll show off in a Marvel Legend or not a Marvel Legends, but an action figure custom showcase. So thanks to Daredevil 19, I do have that cape. And um, yeah, it smells great and it looks great and it functions great. So I'll discuss that more later on. And when I say it smells great, I don't mean it in a creepy way. It's just, I usually don't, you know, uh, anyway. We'll discuss that more <laughs> later on. But you can see the size difference right over there. I'm just saying that because I had the cape on the figure and I'm smelling it right now. Because, yeah, I think there's some perfume on it or something. So, and then here is, um, oh, shoot, I forgot her name already. But, um, ah, shoot, yeah, I hate it when I, I forget things, but. You know, it's been a crazy day, man. Give me a break. Come on. Will you give me a break? Oh, you're not going to give me a break? Well, oh, I'm sorry I disappointed you so much. I keep, I keep wanting to say Jyn Erso, and I know it's not her. Ah, shoot. Ah, dang it. <laughs> I know it's not, and the name will come to me probably right after I'm done recording this. So, anyway, those are the comparisons right over there. I want to see if I can get Mando holding the child right here in his arm, kind of like a football or something, or like a baby, I guess is what they say when you when you hold a baby is that you kind of want to hold it like a football a little bit you know so all right this is camera angle is awful because you can't see crap but uh da, 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 da. i have the child all right here we go that's my mando impersonation by the way and that does not look too bad huh so yeah man i like it oh dude for 11 bucks yeah you know for 11 bucks a very tiny figure Here's what I gotta say, man. When you're spending 11 bucks on such a tiny, tiny piece like this, I'm thinking about the quality 
And I'm thinking about how much I like the character in all seriousness. This is definitely not something for everybody because it's 11 bucks on a very, very tiny piece of plastic with even smaller pieces of plastic. Okay. So yeah, there are people that are going to be like, oh, I wouldn't spend money on that. It's just a little, tiny little thing. I understand that, but I really like having a baby Yoda figure in my six inch scale collection. And I think the details on it are actually very impressive. So at the price point of 11 bucks, uh, I'm going to give this a sud rating of, I love it. Cause I love this little guy. This is a great little figurine. It's as much as I could ask for in a tiny little figure for it being 11 bucks with these other accessories. Again, not for everybody, but for me, I really like it a lot. Hope you guys liked this video a lot. If you did, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and stay tuned for another review either coming today or tomorrow. We shall see. If you're feeling lucky, you'll get three videos in one day. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Peace.